Good evening, meteorologist DT, weatherrisk.com, or should I say good afternoon, uh, 4 o'clock here doing uh, this weekend's weather special on our upcoming uh, snowstorm here for Virginia, North Carolina, some ice as well. Uh, so uh, let's get right to it. A lot to talk about here. And um, yes, I, by the way, I am still the can commander of fusion, colonel of chaos and captain of catastrophe, but that's insignificant at this point. Let's get right to the snow forecast, shall we? Okay. Uh, remember this a couple days ago on my last video? Remember this one here, why I hate the old regular GFS model for East Coast snowstorms. Remember that? Mm-hmm. All right, and of course I showed this one. This is from February 2014. And the image on the left was the European model, which forecasted a huge snowstorm for Northwest South Carolina of all places, the western half of North Carolina, all of Virginia, except for Hampton Roads, up into Maryland, Delaware, New Jersey. And the GFS had nothing, zero. You remember that? She had no precept north of Virginia, North Carolina line of any significance. Right here. This was the uh, line that had the precip right there. And what actually happened? Well, that. The European was perfect. I mean perfect. That, perfect. You couldn't ask for a battle from model. Now, here's the GFS from uh, December 3rd. Ooh, that wasn't good. Now, um, you can see, that, again, that it had no precipitation north of the Virginia-North Carolina border. Let me get rid of that the text. That text should not be there. This is from December 3rd, and you can see that, like I said, nothing. And then uh, later on, this was the snow mount. There you go. Same thing. Nothing north of Virginia-North Carolina border. And the GFS kept doing this day after day, even on Friday morning. The 0 0 on, 6 0 on, people texting me, tweeting me, saying, oh, it's a disaster. Nothing's going to happen. The whole forecast is going to bust. No, no. It's just the GFS. No, no. It's just the GFS, really. It's all it is. It's a piece of crap. And the sooner it's dead, the happier everybody in America will be. Now, this here is the 6Z GFS. Now, admittedly, this is from December 6th. But again, like I said, two days ago, the operational GFS still had nothing north of the Virginia, North Carolina border. Now, this is a forecast from two days ago. This is not bad. This is not bad to what actually could happen. Now, it's got too much snow in Raleigh and eastern North Carolina. But in terms of the snow line and where it's going to be, that's not a bad forecast from 60 hours ago. 72, that's not bad. So the GFS FE3 is definitely an improvement over what the old operational GFS has been. Now, this was the European model. This was from several days ago. This was back, back from when? December 3rd. Now, it was going crazy with the heavy snow in southwest Virginia, forecasting 20 and 25 and 30 inches of snow in Roanoke, Lynchburg. I don't know. If, obviously, that's probably overdone. And, but it does show decent snow into central Virginia, up towards the northern neck, southern Maryland. Not a bad forecast. At least it showed something big. Yeah, this, is, this is nothing. You can't work with that. Okay. This here is the NWS forecast. And if you can see it, let me shrink the time. You speak this a little bit. This was made at 1130 midday here. And this is after all this data already come out. Now, I'm going to show you this data. This came out earlier this morning. And they were still doing this. Okay. Now, recent, they have upgraded. 4 o'clock this afternoon, 4.30, they upgraded winter storm watches and warnings for central Virginia. You can see that. The pink area is mostly like 4 to 8 inch snows. And that blue area in and around Richmond and Chesterfield and Ryko, uh, Hanover, that's all uh, 3 to 6 inches. Now, remember that number, 3 to 6 inch snows, because this is going to be interesting. All right. The European model from yesterday and last night. Let's take a look, see here. So... Uh, you can see uh, Richmond, uh, 2 or 3 inches, Petersburg, 5 inches, uh, Lynchburg, 5 or 6 inches, Roanoke, 7 inches. Then, early this Saturday morning, ooh, look at that, up to 12 inches, 9 inches in Lynchburg, uh, 5 inches in uh, Richmond, and 9 inches in Petersburg. Okay, that's a big increase. Fair enough. Now, this here was, is the um, new European. This is from 6C this morning. Now, we've gone from 2 inches, 2 runs to go to 7 inches, 13 at Petersburg, 12 at uh, Roanoke, 13 at, uh, 12 at Lynchburg, 13 at Roanoke. Uh, you can see 11 at Farmville. I mean, a lot of snow here. And look at all the stuff in Danville, down this there, Hickory, uh, Greensboro, getting crushed in this whole area. Big snow. Okay? Now, this is the 18Z and the early Saturday morning, RGM, the high resolution. Very similar. Excellent model agreement, excellent consensus. Not a lot of big waffling around here. Love the RGM. I noticed some of the TV weather people in Richmond this morning, the midday. Uh, Zach Daniels over Channel 6, for example, he talked about the value of the RGM. 
He's absolutely right. It's a very good snow model. It doesn't have the warm bias or the wet bias. And you can see, again, huge snows in on the Virginia-North Carolina border, over a foot in Lynchburg and Roanoke on both of these models. And you can see 9 inches Richmond, uh, close to 9 inches on both these models, 8 inches. Very, very reasonable forecast. This is the F. This is here's the new GFS. Friday midday, Friday afternoon, Friday morning, a Saturday morning, and you can see. Look at the black line slowly inching northward each run, and of course, you know we've gone to seven inches at Richmond to twelve inches. Let me make sure you can see what I'm talking about here. Seven inches, twelve inches, fifteen inches, and you can see the same thing at Lynchburg and Roanoke. The, the whole thing slowly advancing northward. Now, again, a lot of this is all 10 to 1 snow ratio, and on the eastern and southern side, you're not going to get 10 to 1 snow ratio. Of those areas, and maybe in Richmond, the ratio is going to be like 7 to 1. So keep that in mind. Okay? But if we look at the um, RGEM uh, radar, what it's showing, this is unbelievable. This is early uh, this is early Saturday morning, the RGEM. Look at that. I've never seen dark blue like that in Richmond or South Central Virginia or Farmville or a Danville or a Lynchburg. Uh, maybe the January 96 storm, blizzard. That's the last time I can ever think of seeing something like that. Look at the intensity of this stuff. Oh, my God. This is a lot of snow coming. This is 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Is that what that is? Whew. That's amazing. All right. Here's the 6Z uh, GFS on this morning. Again, you can see the increase. There it is. Slow step northward. Okay. Here is the HR DPS. This is the new improved version of the RGEM. And what's it doing? Yeah, look at this, folks. It's got, um, again, you know, 12 inches hit 13 north of Richmond. That's a big jump. Uh, 12 inches by, by uh, Charlottesville. I don't know if that's going to happen. But you can see it's got this uh, one inch line now. Um, oh, just south of Richmond. It's just south of D.C., you know. Two, three inches in Culpeper, Harrisonburg, that sort of thing. A really big snows in Lynchburg, Roman Oak still. And notice there's a lot less snow in, in, in Raleigh. The model has correctly seen that. So maybe this thing is onto something. Because the snow mounts are falling down in, rap in Raleigh pretty rapidly. Now this is the NAM at 12 the, the on the left-hand side and the RGEM on the right-hand side. This is the 3-kilometer NAM. And this here is the Canadian RGEM. And you can see the amazing similarities. Big snows, Richmond, Richmond, Charlottesville, decent snow in Charlottesville. Big snows in Raleigh, big snows in, in Lynchburg, same thing. There you go. Now, again, notice the name has a lot of snow in, in Raleigh, but the RGEM is, does not. It's cut in half because of the warm air coming in. So let's see. If, well, you know, we'll see if that's correct or not. Now, finally, this is the afternoon, Saturday afternoon, GFS. Look at the snow here in Richmond. You're going to love this. This is this is just a killer. You're going to love this joke. Ready? Okay. Look at the snow mounts in Richmond. Three to six inches. Wait a second. Three to six inches. Where does that sound familiar? Does that sound familiar? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Three to six inches. That's right. That's what NWS is forecasting. In other words, all this other data, this and 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 this, didn't, doesn't amount to anything. The only thing that matters is the GFS. Three to six, that's it. Boom, three to six. There you go. <laughs> I mean, if it wasn't for the GFS, I don't know what they would do. Anyway, all right, let's go on to something else. That's just unbelievable. Uh, let's talk about thunder snow. That's Jim Cantore. You remember that from the blizzard? If you're a fan of the Weather Channel, everyone's seen that video a billion times. Jumping up around like a madman for thunder snow, and thunder snow is exciting. Yeah, we could actually see thunderstorm in Richmond. That's why I bring this up. Let's take a look. See, here's the RGM phonogenetic forcing, where this represents amazingly strong vertical motion along the uh, bound frontal boundary here. You can see this. Look, look at all this energy right in here. Look at this stuff. Now, this is valid one o'clock on Sunday. Wow, North Carolina border, Southern Virginia, Richmond, uh, Farmville, uh, Petersburg, uh, Danville. Uh, South Boston, South Hill, all of that. And then this is uh, set 5 o'clock in the afternoon on, on uh, Sunday. And you can see it's right over central Virginia and eastern Virginia area. Now, this is obviously rain on this side, but Richmond's cold enough for all snow still. That's going to be impressive snow. That could be thunder snow. I'm telling you, that really could be. I've not seen that in a long time. This is the 18Z NAM. And you can see, again, uh, impressive snow mounts in and around central Virginia. Uh, look how far east the snow gets 
here in the middle peninsula at northern neck you see this right along mobile jack bay nothing but that's uh, several inches in williamsburg james city yeah N king william uh you know king and queen county you guys think you're going to get nothing up there <laughs> i wouldn't be saying that uh this is 14 inches in petersburg nine inches in richmond uh third that's a 12 in lynchburg a 18 in, in uh, roanoke um danville martinsville yeah big snow now again this is all 10 to 1 ratio and this whole area this side here that's not going to be 10 to 1 this side will be but not here so there you go and we look at the phonogenetic forcing from the 18z nam oh my god are you kidding me look at this stuff there it is okay at 11 o'clock in the morning Greensboro, Hickory, North Carolina, Winston-Salem, moving into Roanoke, uh, Hillsville, Whiteville, uh, Lynchburg, uh, Martinsville. And then here it is at uh, four, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Look at this, stretching from Roanoke to Norfolk. Wow. Just wow. That I, thunder snow. Well, you heard it here. Well, I don't know if we'll see. I could be wrong. I may be wrong about this completely. Now, sure enough, here's the GFS, okay? And remember how pit pit pitiful the GFS has been with its weak little snow just crossing north of the border? The reason for that is because the model has nothing. All the frontogenetic forcing is south of the Virginia-North Carolina border. So at least the model's consistent. It's bad, but it's consistently bad. So that's the good news. Okay, here's the NAM sounding. Five o'clock in the afternoon. That's all snow to Richmond. Anybody tells you that sleeves blowing smoke up their ass. That's not what that is. That's pure snow, 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Now, uh, it does go over to sleep. Uh, this is um, 7 p.m. Richmond. We're uh, just uh, at the area of sleep, snow mixed here. And then at uh, 9 o'clock in the evening, uh, make sure I got the right sounding. Yeah, 9 o'clock, there we go. We are now uh, snowing. Uh, we now are now sleeting in Richmond and mixed precipitation. Okay, but by that time, 90% of the event's over, so who cares? Uh, let's take a look at Raleigh. Uh, you can see uh, early in the morning at 7 a.m., they're all snowing at Raleigh. Okay, very clear snow, isotherm uh, profile there. And then, but by uh, noon, they've gone way over. You see this uh, bulge here? This is all rain here. It's too warm. This is the 32 degree line right here. So, this is all rain, and the temperature is 34 degrees. So, this is rain by noon in Raleigh, and that keeps the snow amounts way down. All right, here's the last, this is, excuse me, the last call map, I should say. Okay, I corrected the map there. Make sure you can see the right map. This is the last call map. And uh, like I said, I've already sent it out to my clients and stuff. But you can see here um, the, where my uh, conditions are. Now, the sea area, that's 8 to 12 inches. That's just on the west side of Richmond. See that? And then east, the side of Richmond, Charlottesville, that's 4 to 8. Yeah, I think Charlottesville could get 4 inches of snow out of this. I do really do. Uh, Raleigh, again, just the north and west. I drew that line right through them. I may be optimistic with Raleigh. They could... They may be more like four to eight here. Uh, Charlotte's gone down a lot as well. Um, and then again, I do have uh, two to four inches in Northern Virginia. You can see why. Um, and that we'll see if that holds out as well. If we enlarge it a little bit here, you can see again uh, where I have those lines. The west side of Richmond, you know, uh, eight to 12 inches. Uh, uh, area C is eight to 12. And um, we'll see if that holds out. Now, I'm counting on the thunder snow and the heavy snow at four, at three, four, five o'clock in the afternoon. I could be wrong. We'll see. I may be too aggressive. Like I said, it may be more like four to eight. So it's, and I have that on the east side of Richmond. So, you know, Chester, uh, Charles City, uh, New, you know, New Kent. Yeah, four to eight for you guys. But the west side, we'll see. And up towards Goochland County, I think we got a shot at that. All right, let's take a look how this develops. At 12 o'clock Sunday morning, uh, the earliest Sunday morning, you can see just getting in towards southwest Virginia, snowing very heavily in far western North Carolina. Four o'clock in the morning, coming down buckets, Hickory, Winston-Salem, uh, Greensboro, Moderate some moving in towards Roanoke. Oops. Uh, there we go, 2 p.m. on Sunday. Really coming down. Look at this stuff. I mean, this is amazing stuff here. Um, all right, now, uh, so I, I, input, I missed the slide here, so I can put it back in. This is, like I said, 12 a.m. to 4 a.m. This here is 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. This is what you didn't want to miss. It's the most important slide. So you can see the really impressive snow. At 7 a.m., it's in Richmond, according to the RGM, or just about there, very close to it, and then south of Charlottesville. But look at the enormous heavy snow in Roanoke, Lynchburg, Danville, uh, Martinsville, Greensboro. Look at that. And tremendous ice here. And then 11 a.m., coming in like a wall, heavy snow approaching central Richmond, no doubt about that. 
look at this stuff oh my god are you kidding me look how this is very impressive huge amounts of snow look at the scale over here uh, phew, South Hill South Boston Nottoway Lynchburg Farmville Rowan, oh my god Greensboro really coming down Henderson just impressive stuff all right now we can go to to uh, 2 p.m. and 5 p.m. look at the, the that super heavy stuff from here now moves into central Virginia coming down like a bucket and then finally uh, you know like I said there may be some mixing over Richmond at five o'clock I don't think so the RGM has a little more than than the NAM but I think it's gonna be mostly snow and then certainly it goes back over at seven o'clock in the evening we still have additional snow notice here that the snow line at two o'clock five o'clock does get up to DC okay it does get up to DC so and this is all moderate snow by uh, Manassas of Fredericksburg uh, called pepper it's not nothing so that's one of the reasons why I've got the snow that far north there you go I've had that for a couple of days got to give me I have that so there you go now seven okay seven o'clock in the evening one 10 p.m. there may be a little burst of snow at the end if we get this little burst of snow here at 10 o'clock to one o'clock in the morning over central Virginia that could add another couple of inches just just letting you know there so anyway that's the forecast there you go we're set and done we'll see what happens tomorrow folks this is meteorologist DT from weather risk I'll see you on the Facebook page and on the Twitter page